How are we doing guys? Hi. Uh, today is Friday, March 8th, and today is the day I'm going to show off the epic haul that I got. This is the one you've been waiting for, guys. Yeah. Uh, last Saturday, I went to go see a guy. Um, I think it was Thursday. I was on Offer Up, Let Go. It's two apps that I use to just uh, look around and see what people have for sale. And it's similar to Facebook Marketplace. But um, I was looking around and I saw a guy that was about 40 minutes north of me that had uh, movies to sale and it was over 200 movies and he wanted five bucks a piece or five for 20. On the first picture I saw Captain, uh, Captain America in 3D with the slip and that's one of the Marvel movies I've been looking for and as I'm going through the pages... There was actually more that I, I saw, so I messaged the guy, and we decided to make a plan to meet up on Saturday, so I went up there. You didn't see the 3D logo first that caught your eye? Well, yeah, that too. <laughs> but um, I went up there, and I was talking to the guy, and I said, you know, I'm interested in, in some of your movies. I'm like, you know, what's the deal, blah, blah, blah. And he says, well, you know, 5 for 20. And I said... Uh, I'm thinking about buying more than that. Will you give me a better deal? He goes, yeah, you know, let's uh, see what you want and then we'll uh, go from there. So I made a pile of stuff that I, w I definitely wanted, mm -hmm. stuff that was a maybe, depending on what the price was. Mm -hmm. When I went over there, when I was talking to the guy, he told me that I was the only, mm -hmm. there was only one other person that came before me and that was a friend of his. He said his friend actually spent 800 bucks and bought a bunch of boxes of movies. So I'm, I'm really interested in knowing what he got. By some of the pictures, I know that some of the stuff... I'd like to know too, yeah. Some of the stuff that I wanted. Like the Captain America 3D, that was no longer there. But when I was talking to the guy, he showed me only like four boxes of stuff. I'm like, do you have more? He goes, oh yeah, I have more, but it's all sealed stuff. That I decided I'm going to look up the prices just because it's sealed. You know, I have some Disney, some uh, steel books, and I want to check them out. So, I keep on talking to the guy and, you know, trying to see if he would let me look at this stuff because I was really curious. It's getting good. So, uh, after a little while, he decided to let me see the stuff. And when he pulled the stuff out, it was six boxes. My jaw hit the floor and I was just salivating. The stuff that this guy had was unreal. And the thing is, is the guy wasn't a collector. A family member died and he ended up getting the guy's collection. He didn't know what he had. No. This guy had boxes of steel books, still brand new factory sealed. He had Disney steel books. Hold on, CS. That, uh, were completely empty steel books that from talking to Rick because I never knew that Disney made empty steel books. He says when you pre ordered a movie, you can actually order an empty steel book so you can put it in after. This guy had I think like four or five of them that were brand new, never open. And then one box was full of Disney Blu rays, still brand new, never open, with slips. And then the last box, and I asked the guy, was it for sale? And he said, yes. But when he told me the price, I was like, even though it's a good price, I can't, I can't afford it. The guy had every single Disney treasures over, I think it was 25 to 27 of them. Brand new factory sealed, not dented, never open. He wanted $2,000 for all, for all of them. That's under, like, that's like $70, uh, a Disney treasure that some of them go up to 400 bucks. I've seen them, but the only way the guy would sell it was as a complete lot. If I had two grand laying around, if I didn't have a son in the other room sleeping, I would have bought that hands down. No ifs, ands, or buts. You about saw them. You were yeah. standing. Did you touch one? Yeah, I got to hold one. <laughs> I actually held one. uh the Donald Duck one and uh the Zorro one. I looked at and uh first time I actually got to hold sealed ones before and those two titles but if i if if i had the money i would have bought them and since i'm not a huge disney guy i would have turned around and flip i would have flipped them i honestly would have i would have sold i would have piecemealed them out 
But I would have gave Cinema Sickness the first uh, offer on it. But, um... <laughs> Okay. So, I decided to make a pile, and he gave me an offer of 170 bucks for everything that I wanted. And I said, eh, that's a little bit too much. Um, how about, you know, let's mean it. I, I went down to $100, and we keep on going back and forth, and he said, 130 I said, sold. I'll do 130 when I went into my wallet, I turned. I actually had over 200 on me just in case because you never know. I took a $100 bill and hit it because I, didn't, I was trying to tell him I didn't have that much money on me and I was trying to talk him down. So I hid the 100 behind a, a Target receipt and I had a $100 bill and then some 20s, some 5s and everything. When I went through my wallet, I had 128 bucks. That was it. I said, I got 128 I said, wait, I got change. He goes, just give me the 128. I was he like, did that. He told so me. So I was just like, oh, oh, thanks, thanks. So I just counted it up. I got 51 titles. 16 of which are still brand new factory, factory sealed. Yeah. And that averages out to $2.51 a title. Exactly. So. Oh, my God. So I'm, I'm gonna, thinking of all the stuff that you got. Yeah. Oh my god. Some some That's of the stuff some say. of the stuff I got is Disney, Steel Books, Collector Sets, Criterion? uh Criterion, yeah. Twilight Time. Uh the sealed Disney, if I remember correctly. I think so. I don't remember exactly. With but a, with a slippy? Yeah. But we're gonna For you slip fans out oh, there. Oh yeah. Slip uh, Nazis. Uh, Dizzy uh, Movie Club exclusive with a slip. Still brand new factory sealed. But we're going to go through everything right now and I'm going to show you everything I got. We've already rambled for seven minutes and you pretty much get the gist of how it's good, how good of a deal you. it is. So just remember, $2.51 per title. So we're going to do the DVDs first and we're going to go through those. Didn't the guy have a movie that you said, oh, was it oh, Spice yeah. World? Oh yeah, this this was a, a good one. This is a, a good one for Sorry. CS. Sorry, Sorry before guys. I show this. <laughs> See, Sorry. I wasn't going to tell the story, but now I have That's to. Good story. When I was going through the DVDs, this is how I kind of tricked them into showing me the sealed stuff because he, he was going to go and look up eBay prices. And right there I knew I could never touch any of that stuff. <laughs> but uh, I said, when I was going through the DVDs, I looked inside the box and it was a brand new factory sealed Spice World. I pulled it out since I already have it. How could you forget about Spice World? Since I already since I already have it, I said, you know, this is out of print. This thing goes for like a hundred bucks on eBay. And you're selling it for a dollar. And he goes, he hurries up, grabs it, looks it up, he goes, Holy crap, this thing is going that for that much. I said, Yeah. I said, I'm you know, I'm just letting you know. And that was the way I got him to show me all that Disney stuff and uh, <laughs> everything that was sealed. And the stuff that was sealed was, like I said, Criterion's, Twilight Times, Disney Movie Clubs. And because I told him about that one movie, I never told him the stuff that he was selling me <laughs> was going for like 50 to 60 bucks per mm -hmm. title. 30 bucks? But, 35. you know, what he doesn't know ain't going to hurt him and... You know, I gave him I gave him an offer and he took it. But you know, it was a way to actually get to see the stuff. He said thank you and you ran the hell out exactly. the door. Exactly. <laughs> but uh just so you know, always make sure you know what the prices are before you sell anything. Unless you sell them to me, then sell to me cheap. But anyhow. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Sorry sorry for the story guys, but, but it was good, right? We're gonna go. That's why she says I robbed the guy. But I didn't rob him. I gave him an offer and he took it. He didn't know what he had. Okay. Yeah, he just didn't know what he had. Just the, the stuff he knew what he had was he knew Disney was worth money. But the Disney uh, movie clubs, he didn't see the Disney logo, so he didn't realize they were Disney's. Well, thanks for listening to our stories. Yeah, so now we're nine minutes. We're going to start showing movies. The first one I got, like I said, I'm going to do the DVDs. The first one I got is um, Madeline. Uh, I've never seen this movie. I think uh, people call it Madeline. Yeah, Madeline. Like the, okay. was it the book or a comic strip? I think it was a comic strip. 
I think it was a, a show. I know it was a show. But About I, all these proper girls, 12 girls in two straight lines. Something. Yeah, but I thought it, it originated as a book. But Yeah, there's a book too. Yeah. After that, next one I got was Ooh. Mean Girls. Brand new factory sealed. Isn't that out of print? Uh, um, no? I'm not 100%. Uh. I double checked it. And I don't, I've seen it for sale, but it might be out of print. I think it goes, not for a lot, but I think it goes for like nine bucks. Not two dollars and some months. <laughs> not two dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> but, uh, next one, I think this movie is out of print. If it isn't, let me know that, uh, oh. down below. I love this movie. I actually saw it in theaters and that's School Ties with Brendan Fraser uh chris o'donnell matt damon and ben affleck it's pretty much about kids in a private school and the this racial tension kind of happens but it's a really good movie and this is a movie I've, I've been wanting in my collection and like i said to me well worth it cool to see them all younger oh yeah uh next one a movie that i've been wanting on blu-ray but I haven't found it on Blu-ray. People say it's a common movie. It's not that common because I just can't find it on Blu-ray. But uh, maybe because you live in Massachusetts. Maybe, but this is a, a special edition DVD. It comes in a nice box, and that's uh, Jerry Maguire. It's an actual box. Yeah, it's yeah. like an actual box box. So I've never even seen this edition before. But the box is mint. It has a little bit of rub at the top, but nevertheless. It's it's awesome, and I'm glad to have it. I didn't have it in my collection. I used to, but not anymore. This movie didn't have it in my collection, and it's a snapper. <laughs> and I love this movie. This is uh, Drew Barrymore and Luke Wilson in Home Fries. This is a great movie. Okay, I can watch it now. Yeah. I haven't seen it. Yeah. She wanted to watch it, and I'm like, can't take anything out of the bag till I make this video. <laughs> Uh, next one. If it's Bambi, it's Stan and Bambi. Um, it's a movie I used to have on, uh, Clamshell. And I love this movie. And I haven't seen it, man, in years. I had, like I said, I had the VHS. And this is Mouse Hunt, the widescreen edition. I've probably seen that like 10 years ago. Yeah. I, I one up you. I've probably seen this over 20. <laughs> it's a good but, movie. I love this movie. This movie is awesome. With Nathan Lane and Lee Evans. Mm -hmm. This movie was a riot. A comedy that does not suck. If they still make comedies like this, I probably still like comedy, but they don't. It's Going down. You see how... 3D. Yeah, but... The camera shook, I think. Oh, I'm sorry. But... You shook um, everybody up. It's such a good deal. Hopefully, I don't drop any more. How much you pay for? 128 $2.51 a title. Jeez. DVDs were a dollar, so I'm kind of averaging it all out. It's good, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Good. Next one, a Disney title I did not have. Didn't know about it. And this is the Walt Disney Gold Collection of Make Mine Music. Not brand new, but I didn't have this in my collection. The disc is mint because yep. it was owned by an older, collect, uh, an older guy that probably didn't have kids. But awesome to have it. So that's right, a good one right there. Disney. Did Here's, you let him see that or did you like try and hide it in the pile? No, he just said DVDs were a dollar. I just went through the box and put them in a pile. He and never he let you have the Disney too. Okay. He never looked at the pile and I actually counted the movies and said, I got fifty one of them and he took my word for it. He didn't even double check to even make sure that I was being honest. But he got a lot of good stuff there. Yeah. Uh, next one I got is another Walt Disney DVD, and that's uh, Pooh's Huffalump yeah. uh, movie. Well, that was creepy laugh. Yeah. Huffalump. Yeah, I didn't have this movie. I've never seen it, but it's Winnie the Pooh. I decided it's okay. Disney, it's DVD, it was mint. I'm going to pick it up. And the last DVD that I have is a Criterion. Um, I have this movie. I didn't have the Criterion. I wish it was the Criterion Blu-ray, but I'll be happy with the Criterion DVD, and that's the Royal Tandem Bounds. I've 
owned this movie for a long time and I still have not watched it. I like the case. But yeah, it's a cool case. It looks like a book. I haven't watched it either. So it's a real nice one. I think I actually have the criterion of this. I'm not 100%, but without the, the outer box, just uh, the actual DVD case. But I have to double check. I'm not 100%. Like I said, I've owned this movie probably since the early 2000s. When this, this came out in 2001. So the early 2000s, but I don't think I actually have the outer case. So if I do or if I don't, I'm still super happy because I didn't have this release. And that's it for the DVDs. Everything else is Blu-rays. All right, you Blu-ray snobs. Here you go. Yeah, here we go. Rick, here you and go. And again, no, $2.51 a title. First one in a blockbuster case. I'll... Ch I'll... A blockbuster. Yeah, blockbuster. <laughs> I had I'm, to. I'm actually going to put it in a, in a Blu-ray case. I'm actually going to uh, let the blockbuster case go. But Maybe you can sell it on eBay. No. <laughs> Somebody will want it. But... Um, I have this movie on DVD. I'm actually going to keep it because it has a really nice slip. But I was happy to upgrade this to Blu-ray. And that's Daybreakers with Ethan Hawke. This movie is an excellent movie. If you've never seen this movie, watch it. Okay. I, I highly recommend it. It's a great movie. I just watched it. I, I, I watched it last year, but I've watched it You know, every couple of years. I put it back in. Next one. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Next one. Um, I saw this movie. I thought it was meh, and I've never watched it again. But this has both versions of the film: the rate, uh, the unrated and the theatrical. And it came with the slip, and that's fighting with Channing Tatum and Terrence Howard. So I'm super happy to revisit this one and check it out. I'd watch it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, Channing. Next one, another upgrade. I have it on DVD, but I'm upgraded to Blu-ray, and that's The Brave One with Jodie Foster. Great movie. I won't say great. It's a good movie, but uh, I enjoyed it. It's a nice uh, revenge film. I like revenge films, so nice to upgrade that one. Next one, another another upgrade. I love this movie. I love this movie, too. I've I, seen it more than three times. Yeah, and to me, it was worth the upgrade. Because Denzel's the, the man. And that's John Q on Blu-ray. So I'm happy to upgrade this one. Hey, there's Denzel sitting next to me. But I'm glad <laughs> to have that one. Next one, another upgrade. This movie is meh, but it's good popcorn fun. I always liked it. This is the, the director's cut to Daredevil with Ben Affleck and Jennifer Garner. Like I said... It's a good popcorn film. I didn't. I have it on um, DVD, and like I said, to upgrade a, a Marvel film to a Blu-ray, I'm happy with that. Next one, I actually picked this up at one of the Dollar Tree sales, and it came in a nice clear case, but it wasn't uh, the 3D one. So I'm happy to have this uh, the 3D version of this. And I've never seen the movie yet since I've owned it. I think I've owned it like three years and I still haven't watched it. And that's Upside Down. And this is the 3D, 2D on one disc version. So I'll be getting rid of my Blu-ray of this and this one will be going in my collection. Next one, a horror movie that I actually really like. It's a, a good premise to this movie. You know, some people didn't like it, but I really enjoyed it. And this is a, an upgrade. Again, I have it on DVD. Now I have the Blu-ray. And that's The Ruins, unrated. Intense, disturbing, and gut-wrenching. Oh, yeah. Mm, that sounds good. This one, again, I have it on DVD. And I love this movie. Um, I like rom-coms. And I love this movie. And that's The Proposal. With uh, Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds. It's good. Yeah, it's a good movie. I, I, I want to watch it again. And I've watched it a lot. Next one. Another upgrade. I have this on DVD. I had to upgrade it to Blu-ray. Not a lot of people like this film. Or I have really haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. I really enjoy this film. I thought it was a, a, 
a good plot. It had a good story. The acting is a little eh, but it's it's still a decent movie. I you know if you've never seen it, I would say check it out. And that's uh, the Knowing with um, Nicholas Crazy Cage, but it's a great, it's a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. I went into this blind, and I sat down. I was just like, whoa, this is really good. But that's that one. This is another upgrade. Oh, had it, had I it, had the DVD. Yeah, she has the DVD. She says, grab that. I want the Blu-ray. So I grabbed it. Jessica Alba. Yeah. For, 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 for you. Alba yeah. For you, all you Alba fans. Jessica Alba and Paul Walker in Into the Blue. I like the story. Yeah. But uh, we have the DVD. So now we upgraded it to Blu-ray. So that's another one. This one. Again, I love this film. She just finally watched it last year. Oh, it's good. And um, have it on DVD, upgraded it to Blu-ray, and that's Frozen. The good one? The good Frozen. <laughs> yeah. The Eli Roth Frozen. Think they'll make a sequel of that one? Uh, probably not. Oh, well, maybe they just let it go. This one, I didn't have it at all in my collection. And it was brand new factory sealed, and that's... The Jersey Boys. I never seen this movie. It reminded me of uh, I was it the Fabulous Baker Brothers by looking at the cover, but I never seen this movie. I decided it was brand new. I'm gonna pick it up for two dollars and fifty one cents a title. Brand new movie, right? Yeah. Next one. I know this movie came out in 3D. And if the price was a little bit higher, I probably would have skipped on it. But for right now, again, I've never seen this movie. I have it. I think I have it on DVD. But I upgraded it because it came with a slip. And sooner or later, I'll find the 3D and then I'll sell this one off. But Hugo with the nice slippy dippy. Shiny. Yeah. It's, it's a nice shiny slip. But again, it was cool. I want the 3D, but for right now, I'm going to upgrade it to Blu-ray until I find it for a good price. For one bulldog, she's taking up two cushions. Next one. <laughs> Another movie. I can't slide away. I have on DVD, and I'm upgrading to Blu-ray for all you Blu-ray snobs. Another upgrade for my collection <laughs> to get some of those DVDs out. <laughs> but uh, this one... Another movie I really enjoyed. Part two I didn't enjoy that much, but part one I really enjoyed it. And this is the original unrated cut of The Descent. I love this movie. Like I said, the part two isn't that good, but part one is unbelievable. If you're claustrophobic, not a movie to watch, but great movie. Mm. Next one. I have it. If I'm right, I have it on a two-pack on Blu-ray already, but it has no yeah. special features. This one had the special features of the making of, and that's the reason I wanted it. I'm not a big special features guy, but if they have a documentary of the making of or something like that, I'll watch it. And this, so I upgraded it. It's not the original artwork, but I'm happy still to have it, and that's Zack and Mary with Seth Rogen and Elizabeth Banks. I love this movie. Yeah, this movie's a riot. To me. Comedy. Yeah. The old uh, boat rudder. But uh, I uh, I love this movie. And like I said, I wanted it mostly to have a single release of this so I can have the making of. So that's awesome to have that I love on. deleted scenes. Yeah. I always watch those usually. This one, I've passed on it a couple of times, even all the way down to the Dollar General glitch sale. But... I, I I passed on it for a dollar twenty four, but then I picked it up for two dollars and fifty one cents. I don't know, but with everything else, it kind of all evens out in a big bundle. But this was eh, it was okay. Like I said, I'm gonna check it out again, and that's Baby Mama with uh, Amy Poehler and Tina Fey. What else can I say? If anybody's seen it, there's not much to say. But, I can watch it. Yep. This one, I have the remake on Blu-ray. I have the original on DVD, so I had to upgrade it. 
So now I have the original on Blu-ray. And that's John Carpenter's The Thing. And this thing is brand new, factory sealed. Mm -hmm. $2.51. <sighs> Next one. This movie just came out on 4K recently. I think uh, end of last year or beginning of this year. And the guy had it. Brand new factory seal, so I picked it up, and that's Groundhog Day with Bill Murray and um, uh, Andy McDowell. Yeah. I, I brain farted for a second. I just can't. I like her. Forget about the deal. Yeah, so do I. I love this movie. I have it on DVD, upgraded to the Blu-ray. To me, it's not 4K upgrade, but it is Blu-ray upgrade. So I'm happy to have it, like I said. Brand new, factory sealed. Next one, a movie that she wanted. Yeah. So, I picked it up for... I have the DVD, I've seen it live. I, I like yeah. it. I like mu... Spoiler. 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 I like musicals. I'm excited. I like musicals, but not this one. Good thing I'm not holding it, I dropped it. I know. It. <laughs> this is... I love it. Rent. I don't know why. Live in Broadway on Blu-ray. It's not the best story. It's uh, the final performance but, yeah. from uh, Broadway. So I she excited. wanted it. She could watch it when I'm at work. So for the collection. <laughs> Next one. Never seen this movie. Yeah. But let me phrase that. <clears throat> I think I did see it when I was a kid. But this thing is... Doesn't have the, the shrink wrap, but it's still brand new factory sealed, as you can tell by the sticker. The guy never opened it. I checked the, Kate, the movie inside, and that's Big Business with Bette Midler and Lily Tomlin. I remember seeing this movie as a kid, and like I said, I remember enjoying it. I'm going to have to revisit it because it's been a long time since I've seen it, but I'm happy to have it. It kind of reminded me of... A female Gene Wilder, um, Richard Pryor kind of movie. So I was really happy to find this one. I was, like I said, I was really excited. I don't know if I counted that one. I was only counting the plastic on the outside. Maybe eh, that's okay. 17. 16, 17. Maybe. Yeah. Next one. Brand new factory seal. Oh, Chris. Chris just got the big <laughs> box set when he was with, uh, CS that they both got it. So if you've seen that one, you know what it is. Yeah. Well, he, you know what one of the movies were in that box. But I don't have this in my collection. I decided to pick it up. I have the other one, Gods and Generals, but I didn't have this one. Gettysburg. Brand new. Factory sealed, as you can see. But I was super excited to have this. This has uh, Tom Berenger, uh, Jeff Daniels, and Martin Sheen. And this is the director's cut of it. Like I said, it was a great deal. Again, $2.51. This guy had so much stuff. You even had to let some of the stuff go. Yeah. I didn't, I, I didn't want to pretty much go nuts buying movies, but I really... there was I, I could have walked away with an easy 50 more titles. This one, I didn't have it in my collection. He had the remake, and I passed on it. Remake, no. The original... All day long, I'll pick it up. And this thing is uh, pretty awesome. It's a uh, uh, two-movie collection of Arthur and Arthur 2 with um, Liza Minnelli and Dudley Moore. I didn't have this. I don't have either one of them in my collection. I love these movies. I remember seeing them as a kid all the time with uh, my uncle. So, super excited to have this on Blu-ray. I would have been happy with it on DVD. But on Blu-ray... Awesome. This one, another movie that ca uh, came out in 3D. I don't have it yet for right now. I picked it up on Blu-ray because I don't have it in my collection at all. And I, I remember watching it, but I never owned it. And that's The Adventures of Tintin with Mr. Slippy Dippy. But... I remember seeing this. This came out around the same time as Polar Express, so the animation on it is similar to it. It's, I, it's made by Steven Spielberg, 
So the animation, everything is pretty much similar to Polar Express. So if you like uh, the animation of Polar Express, you'll like Tintin. Like I said, I want to get this in 3D. I like it though. Just like Polar Express, I still got to find that in 3D before Christmas. They get a kick out of it when you do the slip. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Next one, another one that's brand new factory sealed. Never heard of this. This looks like cheese-tastic. When I saw the cover, it reminded me of Day After Tomorrow. Me and too. If anybody knows, that's the movie I have the most in my collection. So, um, what's another movie with the Statue of Liberty on the top? And that's Category 7. What's your Bambi review? Oh, yeah, besides Bambi. We have a few of those. Yeah. <laughs> Category 7. The End of the World. This has Randy Quaid, Shannon Doherty, and Gina Gershon. So... Probably a made-for-TV movie, maybe. If anybody knows, comment down below if anybody's seen this, because I'm curious about it. But, widescreen edition, like I said, brand new factory sealed. Pick it up. This one, I had no interest when it came out. I still really don't have no interest. But, I wanted to, I decided, I'll check it out. If I don't like it, I paid $2.51 again. I can sell it for that, especially with Mr. Slippy Dippy, and that's the remake of Vacation on Blu-ray. So, like I said, with the slip, I'll check it out. If I don't like it, kicking it to the curb. It won't even make the bookcase. But, <laughs> it won't make the bookcase. It won't no. make the cut. But uh, I love the original. I heard this one is hot trash, but I want to check it out. <laughs> Nevertheless. Uh, next one, I think I have this movie on DVD because I have seen it, so I, I think, think so, I think yeah. I have it in my collection. But I love this movie. You know how can uh, it's an enjoyable movie that pretty much takes uh, the whole movies in a box, one scene. But you know from that, they get a whole movie of a guy in a phone booth. Yeah, pretty oh, much. A guy in a box. Uh, buried with Ryan Reynolds. This was a really good movie. Uh, so to have it on Blu-ray, that's a, a pickup. Start a new pile. Next one, didn't have in my collection. I don't know why, but I have it now on Blu-ray and that's The Untouchables. And that's the special collector's edition. Has Kevin Costner, uh, Charles Martin Smith, Andy Garcia, Robert De Niro, Sean Connery. I saw this movie a long time ago, but it was really good. And there's a nice young Kevin Costner on the back. But this is a, a great movie. Highly recommend it if you've never seen it. But happy to have that on Blu-ray in the collection now. Next one. I'm not 100%. I grabbed this movie. But... I decided I'm going to pick it up, and that's the Hallmark Entertainment widescreen edition of The Poseidon Adventure. Now, I have the remake. I have the original film, but when I looked at this, I'm like, is this like a made-for-TV movie of the same movie? I wasn't 100%. I haven't pulled my two uh, versions out and actually looked at the cast and looked at the years. But if anybody knows, comment down below. But I wasn't going to, if it was something different, I wasn't going to pass on it. If it's something I have, again, for $2.51, <laughs> I could turn around and resell this. So. It's like Danik's cousin. Yeah. Don't do that. So I'm happy to have it. Just by the actors alone, it seems like it's made for TV. I like the side of it. Next one. I have the remake, and I didn't have the original. I've been trying to actually get, I think it was Film Arena or Bluefins did a steel book of this. And then every time I try to, to pick it up, it goes for like $70 or $80. So, exactly. Yeesh. So I, I passed. I, I, I've been passing on it. I was trying to get it cheap. But fly over. Yeah. Fly, fly way over. over. <laughs> That's like outer space altitudes, flyovers. But I'm happy to have it now on Blu-ray, and that's Let the Right One In. This is a great movie. Uh, I forgot what the name of the uh, remake is. It's uh, Let Me In, I think it is, with uh, 
Chloe Moretz. I forgot what her middle name is. Anyhow. It's about vampires. Yeah. It's about a, a, a vampire. This is the, the Swedish original. It's really, really good. It's actually better than uh, the remake, but highly recommend this for any kind of horror fan. And if uh, you like movies that are foreign movies with subtitles, you'll enjoy it. Uh, next one. You still have more? Oh, yeah. Of still going. Can. Get the good stuff. Uh, this one, I have it on DVD. Oh, like they said in the movie, I don't know how to quit what? you. I don't know how to quit buying this movie. But, Some uh, of these are like, come on, man. Yeah. This one was brand new factory sealed with the slip. And it was Brokeback Mountain with the nice gold slip. This is the... Uh, uh, not any kind of a special one. It just says winner of three Academy Awards, including Best Director. It's 2000. a 2005. I don't know what kind of slip this is. If Blu-ray it's, exclusive. Yeah, if it's some kind of a special slip, but who, uh, you know. But it's cool to have it. I don't have it, like I said. Brand new factory sealed. What? Oh, yeah. $2.51. <laughs> All night, guys. Oh, Thanks yeah. for hanging with us. Yeah. Uh, next one, a, three, <gasps> a 3D movie I didn't have. I love this movie. And it's actually, t it's actually the TV show, but it has one, two, three, five episodes. And it got colorized and made into 3D, so I had to buy it. And that's the best of the Little Rascals in 3D and like I said it has uh five episodes fly my kite oh lad a lamp the kid from Borny Bornigo hi neighbor and hide and shriek but brand new factory sealed by the way why I didn't, I didn't have it <laughs> it's 3D it's brand new factory sealed and two dollars fifty one cents again. So happy to have it. Next one, another three D movie. I love Alfred Hitchcock. I have this movie. I didn't have it in three D, so I'm super excited to uh, grip it tight. Yeah, to uh, upgrade this, and that's Dial M for Murder in three D. On Blu-ray, brand new, factory sealed again. Guy had it. I had to pick this up. It has uh, Robert Cummings, uh, Grace Kelly, and Ray Midland in it. I love Alpha Hitchcock. I love this movie. And to have it in 3D and on Blu-ray, it's a score all day. Hitchcock's classic. Yeah. And this has a, a documentary... Uh, Hitchcock and Dial M. And it has the theatrical trailer, so I'm going to check out that documentary also. But happy to have this one in the collection. Uh, next one. Uh, let me see what I want to show. Next one. This one. Brand new. Factory sealed again. It's a classic movie. Who released this? It's a Warner Brothers release. But can you uh, say that first word for me? Yeah, all day. Okay, Calamity Jane, there you go, with Doris Day and Howard Real. And this thing again, brand new factory sealed. So, first time the Blu ray, and again, two dollars 51 cents. But I was happy to have it, and like I said, to have this and to find it brand new factory sealed, score. All day long. You would have probably taken half of his collection if yeah. you had no budget. This was the only criterion that I picked up. And this was technically the only one I really wanted. He had a couple other ones, but he knew what the prices were already because he looked them up on eBay. And he wanted a little bit more. But this one, he never looked up the price yet. So I got it for $2.51. But uh, 
Tootsie on Criterion. And like I said, this thing is brand really? new, factory sealed still. Never been opened. And it's the, the Blu-ray, as you can see right there. But I love Tootsie. I love this movie. I remember seeing it when it first came out in the early 80s. And I love this film. And to find the Criterion, brand new factory sealed, $2.51 again. Love it. <laughs> it was a, a score. So, like I said, the guy never looked up the price on this, so he just bundled it in with everything else. So, sure, let me count them all. That's yeah. DVD, that's Blu-ray. Okay, you're good. So, next one. A Twilight Time. Brand new, factory sealed, $2.51. This thing's out of print. This thing goes for like 60 bucks on eBay. And I just told you how much I got it for. Nine to five with Dolly Parton. And like I said, right there you can see Twilight Time. So it's only limited to 3,000. I love Dolly. And like I said, this thing is brand new, factory sealed. Like I said, $60 title, $2.51. Another good one is uh, Straight Talk with Dolly Parton. Yeah, she just watched that. I she like liked that it. one. Nine to five. I love that movie. Next two. It's going to be the last two mm -hmm. for the regular DVDs. When. Uh, Blu-rays? Yeah, Blu-rays. And uh, when the guy had the Disney Blu-ray set aside because he, the guy that came before me that bought like $800 worth of movie says, oh, Disney's are worth money. You should look up, up online. Well, he looked at the regular Disney's. He didn't look at the at the. He missed two of the Disney's, and they were because they were movie clubs. And he saw a yellow. He didn't look at the cases because they weren't animated. But hey, mm. they went into my pile. First one was the Son of Flubber, and that's the Disney Movie Club exclusive. And like I said, brand new. Factory sealed still. You know that guy that was there before you. Got some good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, the stuff that I got, the guy kind of spoiled a little bit, but I still got good stuff. Yeah. And again, brand new, factory sealed, Disney Movie Club, $2.51. So I'm happy to have this. I've seen Flubber. Never seen The Son of Flubber. This is the original black and white classic. I used to watch Flubber a lot as a kid. So I'm but happy to have that one. This one... Another Disney Movie Club exclusive. This is the 55th anniversary edition with the slip. Brand new factory sealed. And it's, I think it's out of print. Wait for it. Pollyanna. I love this film. Love it. And like I said, with the slip. Brand new factory sealed. I don't know if I want to open it. I've never seen it. Oh, I, I freaking love this movie. <laughs> I love this movie so much. And like I said... To find, to find it in that guy's collection with the slip. And the slip is, that thing is mint. It reminds me of Parent Trap, the way it's... Yeah. The old one, the old Parent Trap. The one. original Parent Trap. Yeah. Nothing like it. But yeah. it's a great movie. You know, if you've never seen it, I recommend checking it out. I love this movie. Just the way they're dressed. Oh, yeah. It's a it's a great film. And like I said, to find it, brand new factory sealed Thanks on Blu-ray. Movie Club. Movie Club. With a slip. Grab it. That's a grab. Last three things I have of regular stuff is three steel books I grabbed. This one, the guy gave it to me for a good deal because it was opened and I showed that it had a couple of scratches on it. Oh my gosh, you can't even really see but them. I I showed him like a couple of scratches and he goes, Oh yeah, and I said, you know. Steel books are like cars. Once they have a scratch, they start dropping it's a in price. Tin book. Yeah, it's but a tin book. I got this one Steel again, book. all together, two fifty one. But it's the Departed on Steel Book. I love the Departed, With especially some be line scratches. You yeah, can't even see them. Really. But being from Massachusetts and pretty much being. 28 minutes from Boston. You know, how can you not love this film? If you're from this area, it's a sin not to like this movie. I love this movie. 
So to have this, I'll just add it with my other collection of it. So I, I think I only have one other version of it, but now I have the steel book. So I'm keeping them both. I'm happy to have it. There you go. And there you go with that one. And there the you last go. two. And now it's a steel One's book. a steel book. One's actually a metal pack. But nevertheless, I'm happy about it. Uh, a long time ago, one of my first videos, uh, I got challenged by Rick, a.k.a. DTM, on uh, my number one movies from the last 10 years. And one of the years uh, was this movie. So, and that was back in 2011. I love this movie. It was my number one that year. And that is Super 8. Again, brand new, factory sealed. We'll put this other steel book down before I drop it. This whole face is really embossed. It's thick. It's cool. Oh, yeah. And like I said, on Blu-ray, brand new factory sealed. This was my jaw dropper. Yeah. But uh, I already have this movie. That cheap. So I'm pretty much going to keep the steel book. I'm going to keep it sealed and put it right next to it. And I'm not opening this thing. I love this movie. Mm -hmm. But... Even though I had it, this was a, this was a steel book I was gonna pick up, and like I said, two dollars and fifty one cents, brand new steel, uh, not steel book, metal pack. I was picking it up, especially for my favorite movie that year. The last one. Oh, I tried to get him this, and it was just too much. Every time I looked online, yeah. I'm like, no, nope, I'm not paying that. No. Uh, this movie, the steel book was at Walmart. I've passed on it, and I was like, ah, sooner or later I'll get it, and then it just went, and I never saw it again. And I was telling her one day I was bummed because I wanted it. For Christmas time, she actually was looking online, and the thing was going for too much, so she never bought it. Mm -hmm. But $2.51, I'm grabbing this, and it's brand new factory sealed, and that's, it follows. And like I said, brand new factory sealed. Never been opened. I already have it. Not the steel book. But I already have this movie in my collection. I didn't have the steel book. It's going to sit right next to my other one because I'm keeping it. The steel book is staying sealed. Usually with steel books, I try not to open them if I already have the movie. And I just put it next to it. So I'm happy to have this one in my collection. I love this movie. She has to watch it. I haven't seen it. But right. this is a great movie. It's uh, a modern day horror that actually had a great premise. And it was a, uh, a great movie to have and to own. So I'm super excited to have this one. Like I said, to find it brand new factory sealed. It's a when, when I chicken dinner. Oh, yeah. And, and the last... For the regular movies, yeah. guys. Yeah. And then the last two things I have left... You still with us? are yeah. collector's editions. One of these, I'll give you a hint, it's my favorite oh my movie God. of all time. And that's the one I'm going to show first. It's not horror, guys, if no. you follow him. Everybody knows mm -hmm. I love horror and I love 3D. But when it comes to my favorite movie of all time, all time... I could not believe it when he told me. I'm like, what? My favorite movie of all time is... <laughs> the Sound of Music. I love this film. I watch it once a year. Every year. I love this movie. Fun fact, he can sing some of the songs. He oh, sings yeah. the songs. When I watch this, he sings them. I sing the songs. He does. Yeah. So, never watch this movie with me because I'll just bust out into song. But I love You're not this. That bad. No. Mm -hmm. I love this. It has. Like I said, it has some... Love to it? Yeah, it's been loved, but this thing is complete. You open it, it up, and it has... It has everything. It had the book, it had all of it, and the movie inside... Yeah, the movie inside is brand new factory sealed. Never been opened. The guy opened it, looked at the box, but never opened up the movie. I have the movie already on Blu-ray, I think a couple of times. So, I just wanted this just to... Sit on the shelf just so I could watch Julie Andrews on top of that mountain. So I'm Is never. That a little music box. Oh that yeah, plays? it has a nice uh, like ceramic music box. That actually plays uh, Doe a deer or female deer. 
So mm -hmm. I was super excited. You can see right on the back right there. Pretty much everything that it comes with. But this nice. There's a bigger picture on the back. Oh, yeah, yeah there is. This but is a it's a nice uh, Blu-ray box set. Yeah. I like that, that down one. Down gently. And the next one, this one has been opened. It, the movie inside is, in fact, resealed. How much was it? $2.51. <laughs> For these boxes. Title for title. This one, oh, you know uh, how many, the how sound of music, these yeah, go for. the sound of music one is limited to 250,000, so it's not super limited, they but, for a little bit of money though, yeah, it goes for a little bit of money, I think, I've seen it, like 60 bucks for those, but $2.51, uh, this one, has a slippy, yeah, I don't have this movie, I love this movie, a box set again, I love musicals, She's never seen this movie, so we're going to have to sit down and watch it. I'm sorry. I'll try not to bust out into songs so she can actually enjoy it. <laughs> but I love this movie. And that's Singing in the Rain with um, Debbie Reynolds, um, Gene Kelly. This movie is awesome. Like I said, the box is complete. The movie actually inside is open. So. The box is like mint. Yeah. The slip is clear with a bunch of water droplets if you slide it off. Yeah, it looks You couldn't awesome. see it if you That's pretty much slid it off. everything that's inside. But again, I'm super excited to have this in the collection. Um I don't I don't think I own this movie, but like I said, to have the big box of this, two dollars fifty one cents be the last time I do it, so I have to do it. The umbrella, the little yeah. door tags and photos. Oh, yeah. It actually has an umbrella inside that says singing in the rain. It's cute. But that is everything that I got from this guy. Again, 51 titles. Three of them being, two of them being steel books, one being a metal pack. 17 of them being unopened. Two of them being big box collector sets. She has some Disney. A couple, some Disney. Yeah. Disney movie, uh, uh, sorry, Disney that. exclusives, all of that, dollar for dollar, two dollars and fifty one cents, one hundred and twenty eight bucks for everything I just I just showed you. To me, that was a steal. That was an epic haul. Some it's, of them you could put five titles in my hand and be like, they they just yeah. hundred bucks. Or but uh, bucks yeah, if I would have bought it in the store. But uh, I haven't had a deal this good in probably like two years. And to find this, that was amazing. Like I said, I was, when I left that guy's house, I was on the phone with oh, her. Yeah. Tell, yeah, I robbed the guy. Tell, Spoiler tell her, alert, I got this, this, and this. Telling See? her about the deal. What? And I just, I, I wanted to, to call uh, Rick and <laughs> let him know about the deal. But it was late and I didn't want to wake him up. So the next day when I went to Dollar Tree... To look at the Dollar Tree uh, titles and to see if he needed any. I was telling him about the deal and I told him only a couple of the titles that I had. I didn't want to tell him everything, but he was just like, oh my God, oh my God. And I was mm. just like, I was still the next day excited about this deal, but that is everything that I got. If you uh, like this video, like hit the it. like button. If you didn't like it, I don't know how I'm going to top this one. They're going to say but, it's too long. But yeah. I'm sorry, man. But it, yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a long video. But um, if you want to see more from us, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. If you've seen any of these titles, want to leave a comment about the deal I got, anything, leave if it down. If you found a deal in your area that's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Or, or, you know, I'm not, it doesn't have to be as epic as this. Even no. if you found one title that's, like, out of print that went for, like, Thirty dollars online. You got it for like, World, Titanic. yeah, you got it for a buck. The rare Titanic. Got it for a dollar. You know, I'm all. I I love you know. Flea market finds. Yeah, I like that. deals like that. I I love hearing about. So, until next time. Bye. <laughs>